evening there, fantastic. I fear I may have started the video with me coughing, which is not necessarily excellent, so I apologise. But I'm gonna carry on going. Yeah, yeah, um so good evening there, fantastic. I am being very quiet. I hope you can hear me. I will test this in a bit. But it is about half past one now, and my mum is asleep in the next room. So I'm being quiet. Shh. Also, I may possibly have had a little bit to drink right now. And possibly could still be drinking right now. Because it was my birthday. And I still haven't been to sleep since my birthday, so. Yeah. Alcoholic beverages for the win. <sighs> anyway. Maybe I should put this down. Okay. Over there. Um, thank you everybody for the birthday wishes. Uh, it was the wish me happy birthday. Um, I had... It was an average day. It wasn't the best birthday. It wasn't the best birthday. It was, it was average. Because uh, I'm at home and lots of my friends are all yonder, the such as yourselves. It was generally cool though, and I had a good day. And we had Chinese for dinner, and it was awesome. So that's cool. Um, what else has been going on? I have notes. Not physical notes, they're written down in front of me. Um, Sarah asked about what we used to imagine when we were a child. And I have a very active imagination, as anyone who's possibly ever read anything that I have written in a creative writing sense will know. Um, but I'm going to give you one example of when we were we, as in people who were in my class year, were very, very we. This is little. Um, and um, in my first school, I don't really know what you call it in America, but like from the very first year you go to school, so what you call kindergarten, we call reception. Um, so from reception until year four, uh, you go to first school. You used to, now it's primary school, and it's weird, but um, we went to first school. And in first school, um, I went to a Church of England first school uh, called St. James's, and uh, they had a, this pear tree uh, in one of the playgrounds. In the, in the south playground, they had this pear tree, and we used to plan it all the time, and we used to pretend it was like a spaceship, basically. That was what we always used to pretend. Uh, as kids, it was like a spaceship, and it was awesome, and we used to love the pear tree, and we used to plant the pear tree every freaking break time. We'd be on the pear tree, and like, pretending things were dials and stuff, and it was awesome. And, uh, yeah, it was cool. And then maybe five, six years ago, um, they tore the pear tree down. It was really sad. And they, like, paved over it and stuff. It was, it was, it was sad. Not that we were still at the school, but it was sad. So, yeah. The pear tree is gone, and I dislike that greatly. So that was that. Um, what else? Scott. Nah, haha, <laughs> Scott's video has a multitude of things in it. Okay, so first, Celsius. Yes, indeed, we work in Celsius in this country. Although we are a mad, crazy mix of all kinds of things, because, um, you know, we're English, we use miles, we use kilometers, we use all sorts of measurements. It's weird, crazy times. But, basically, 7 degrees Celsius was reasonably warm. So, yeah, 7 degrees Fahrenheit, very cold. Very, very cold. But, interesting fact, because you were talking about different Celsius temperatures. Freezing, actually, is not the temperature at which water freezes, because if I recall this correctly, and I don't, because I don't really remember physics, but, like, water freezes at slightly above 0 degrees Celsius, which therefore must be slightly above 32 degrees Fahrenheit, I don't really know what it is. But, a better fact, of which I am sure, Minus 40 degrees Celsius and minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit are the same temperature. There you go. And I didn't just learn that from watching Stargate SG-1, although I did. Kind of. Anyway. Um, otherwise, uh, Saturday, yeah, I didn't think of that either. How did I not think of that? And Scott, you asked me to hide a saltine. Which is a problem, because we don't have saltines in this country. I don't really know what a saltine is. Uh, I think it might be a bit like a cheese it except perhaps not cheesy. Yeah. So, instead I've hidden something else in this video, and you'll have to see if you can find it. So, yeah. Uh, but we don't have saltines, so I can't hide the saltine. I am sorry about that. What else am I going to say, because it's like 4 minutes 38 and this video is going to go over the 5 minutes that I always try and do. Balls. Um... Yeah. The other thing I've been that sort of happened this week, and it's kind of it's kind of sad times. Um, an old high school teacher of mine, whose name um, is 
Jerry Young. He um, he died this week um, uh, on Tuesday, I think maybe Wednesday, uh, and he was a great teacher, uh, a really really great teacher, and he's basically the whole reason I went to university. Um, I want to write, and I think I am going to write uh, like a paper on this, uh, just because I think it's interesting and relevant to the current education system and things that are going on in England right now, but basically I didn't do very well in high school. Um, uh, it's I'm not going to explain the intricacies of our system, but when you finish high school and you're 18 you get what are called A-levels and they determine which university you get to basically, because universities offer you different your place on your A-level grades. And I didn't do very well, because I didn't really try. Um, because I didn't really know what I was going to do with my life, and it was kind of weird, and I didn't put a lot of effort in, and yeah. So I didn't get into my first choice, and I didn't get into my second choice, because uh, you're only allowed to choose two universities. And basically, I didn't know what I was going to do, it was kind of crazy, and uh, I got a phone call later in the afternoon of the day that we got our results from my second choice, who said, we're not going to take you for the course you applied to, but we're going to take you for this course instead. So I was like, great, that's amazing. A couple of days later, I went back into school for some reason to hand something in, and I saw Mr. Young, and I was like, hey, I got into Hertfordshire. And he goes, yeah, no. And without saying it, it suddenly became clear that he had called them, he dealt with them, he'd done whatever it is he did, and he got in my place. And with that place, I am where I am today. Because if I hadn't gone into uni, who knows what would have happened. But I did, and I got a first, and then I got a distinction and a master's degree, and now I'm a Fulbright Scholar. And that wouldn't have happened without him doing whatever he did that day. And it's, it's really sad. I was really kind of upset um, in the middle of the week, and it's his funeral in a few weeks. Um, and I really want to go... Uh, he moved sort of down south, and they're bringing him back up for his funeral, and um, a lot of people are going to be there from school, and it's going to be pretty emotional, but um, I really want to go. But otherwise, on Monday, to add to this kind of other, not really, um, my mum went into hospital for an operation. Um, it's totally cool, it was on her foot, because she has something weird with a turbo and they just like broke her foot or something. So I have to kind of like look after her, because she's a bit of an invalid at the moment, although... I shouldn't let her say that. Let her hear me say that, because she'll prod me with her crutch or something. Anyway, yes, so I just sort of have to help around the house and cook and clean, like, all the time. Um, which is something I've been rather lax recently anyway, so I kind of deserve that. But anyway, whatever, that's what I'm doing. Um, it's now eight minutes with a video, so I'm going to end. And I just say, I hope you find the hidden thing, and... If someone wants to send me saltines, I will hide them, but until then, there is no hide the saltine from Dave. So, um, have a good week, and I will see you next Saturday. Teddy, bye!